All right. Hello, everyone. It's Thursday, which means it is time for King's Pyrite. Um, and curses. The, huh? Hmm? I didn't say anything about curses. <laughs> I heard something about curses. <laughs> um, so to begin, let's uh, introduce the players. Uh, going to start with Luna. Hi, I'm Solar Dasher. Uh, I'm still recovering from some health issues, so I'm trying to get back on track with streaming. Otherwise, you can normally catch me here on Thursdays playing the cute and lovable Luna or um, on our Discord. I am looking to hopefully start something up again on Wednesday. I just need to get it in the right mind, get myself in the right mindset and get going. Otherwise, uh, let's go ahead and bump it on up to Boulder. Hello, I am Boulder. Also, well, Boulder on Thursday nights, also known as Mudkip on the Discord. That's basically all you can find me online because that is intentional. Uh, otherwise, I'm at work, and um, yeah, that's that's what I do. But they do pay me, which is why I keep going. So anyway, I'm gonna throw it back over to Badges. Howdy, folks! It's your friendly neighborhood Bat Kyle here. I play Badges Newthire on Thursdays, the uh, holder of the brain cell, and just so, so fed up with everything. And I mean, literally everything. There's not a, everything under the sun. Um, other than that, you can find me on Mondays when the game is back up in our Grave New World campaign. And otherwise, much like uh, Mudkip, you can't really perceive me online because social media just sucks the life out of you and i've got better things to do <laughs> bison that's me uh, i am bison underscore stonefist tonight i am playing in Sino or dragonborn paladin um <clears throat> on saturdays you can catch me as sid brimlock on our necrobiotic campaign dead to rights um i am also one of the players on the monday game uh, when we get back into it, you can see me again as Jack Aldridge. And on Tuesdays, I run our Cyberpunk Red campaign, Carnage Heights. And now back to the boss lady. All right. Um, so besides here on Thursdays, you can find me on the Tuesday game as Magic. Uh, and the Sunday game, when it eventually does come back, as Lily O'Connell. Uh, otherwise, if I'm not here... You can find me over at uh, Tangor Productions, streaming on my own. Some very insane games. Uh, right now, it's Stardew Valley and... Uh, God, what is the other one now? Uh, Cult of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to come see me act like a cult leader, that is on Wednesdays. <laughs> uh, I'll have to Twitch remember chat. that. <clears throat> Um. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, there was a new update, and yeah. Um. So, also, you will see a wonderful bit of chat. Yes, it is. Um. That is bouncing around the screen. That is our wonderful producer, who uh is amazing. Uh. <laughs> And they need all the spotlight as well. Um, so uh, get down to the nitty gritty. Our VTT is roll 20. Art is from Hero Forge. Everything else from the but book, which is the full school campaign from Hit Point Press. Uh, everything comes with the setting, uh, which is Dingo, uh, which is by Dingo Doodles and Felix Einrich. Getting back into this and that horrid music that I'm so ready to be done with y'all. You can mute the music, I do. I know. I'm keeping it on, though. Because before we start, you guys watch as Kurt has this, uh, I want to say it was the uh, dire wolf in black. Yeah, I think uh, he was pinned fighting to the ground. And as you see him go in for another attack, he disappears. just disappears completely basically what i'm seeing is that luna after right right after her attack all of a sudden 
she just hears like a poof. And she looks over where Kurt was standing, and uh, they, he's no longer there. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> so, if I remember, we are back at the top of the round with badges. Yes. Yes, we are. Um... And Big Steve, the Earth Elemental. Gotta love yes. Big Steve. Um, so Badges is, let's see, looks like Luna's probably the one who needs the, the most help right now because Luna is now suddenly alone. Uh, versus two dire wolves. Versus two dire wolves, one of which is down. Um, so Badges is... Where is Luna on this map? Is Luna so, actually on? Luna, uh, I don't know how to bring out my token. Luna, <laughs> go, over over by, um, uh, go to your journal, and where it's got your your little character name and such. If you just click and drag that onto the map, it was technically there. I almost called him Red Death. <laughs> <laughs> I need to upload a picture. Sorry, it's no, fine. it's all right. Oh, I don't have it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're both in the same square? Okay. Um, they're supposed to be beside each other, but he's gone. Okay. Just poof. 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 All right. Well, this could make things interesting, but Badges is going to move over here, which should be in range of whichever. will always move. be in range of whatever you're trying to hit. Oh, okay. Narrative combat. Got a lot. Narrative combat. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, he'd go over here anyway because he could take a few hits if needed and heal. Um, and as soon as he's in range, uh, he's going to poison spray the wolf that's down. Okay. So that's uh, 23 to hit. Hits. And that is. Ooh. Uh, 22 damage. Almost max. Okay. Yeah, I am still doing everything by hand because I have not made tokens. Okay. So the one that's pinned is really not looking good. Good. Um, then Big Steve is going to once again swing on the. Um, I think he was swinging on the lion because he was uh, with the lion and the saber tooth. I have it written down saber tooth. Oh, okay. Well, he'll punch the saber tooth then. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, twenty-one. Hits. All right. 12 damage. Also, looking really weak. Really bad here. Oh, well, good, because Big Steve gets another attack. Yeah, probably that's all they're going to need, if I'm honest. 19. Hits. Ooh, 17 damage. Sabretooth is gone. Wow. <laughs> As we're done, I'll carve a little little one in Big Steve's arm. And give him a little carving for every kill he gets. Prison tats. <laughs> oh, then prison tats would be like a little little teardrop into the eyes that he doesn't really have. They're going to think he's a water elemental by the time we're done. That's right. <laughs> and uh, that's badges. Great. The giant constrictor snake. Yay. What are you going to do this time, hmm? You going to be nice? No, step on snake. Or maybe step on snake. I mean, we don't kink shame here. <laughs> yeah. They are going after Burn. Mm -hmm. 
which was that little investigator dude. I warned him. He said he's <laughs> fine. He said he could take care of himself. He had a crossbow. You watch as this giant snake goes to hit and he misses as Burn gets out of the way just in time. Dodge roll, iframes. And dodge roll is the most effective. Okay. <clears throat> Since Kurt is not here, we now go to Belmont. He uses his whip. Who runs up to um, Luna huh. and is like, you took a you took one of the berries? Do you want out of that? He, she nods her head yes. And uh, he opens his hand for, uh, it's like a little capsule that he offers to you. It'll change you back. Uh, she will take it. Okay. And he... Oh, you do make two attacks. He is running up to technically... No, he isn't actually attacking. I was wrong. He is running over to the dais and starting to push. It'll take him a while. Hmm. Okay. And Encino, your turn. Encino is going to <clears throat> attack the Baron again. Okay. As, okay, he gets one with his bite and two with his claws. Which one's going to eat one? Plus 10, okay. Using my dice again. Hooray! Yay! Hits! Seven. And that's going to be... Nice! Oh, wait. Uh, that's supposed to be... Uh... Ten plus six. Sorry, so that's um. I think you need another. D wow, my brain. Uh, it's a fifteen and an extra ten, so twenty-five for the and uh, plus <laughs> two necrotic. So, so what is the full? Twenty-seven. That's with the the first bite. And then he gets two claw attacks. Twenty-eight. And a twenty-one. Assume both of those hit. Uh yes, both hit. Okay. I'll just use the advanced roller because it's easier. That's not the right button. A reminder that dragons are scary. Oh, come on. No, this is not. Oh, yeah, we ought to fight Gresh at some point, probably. Let's not worry about Gresh, but focus on this fight. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's focus <laughs> this one, y'all. It's way in the future. I don't remember how to do this. Exactly. Hey, never mind. I'm just... <clears throat> Sure, all these dragons aren't gonna suddenly attract so unwanted attention. Ten. So that's twenty damage with the two claw attacks, because I I rolled the dice myself. Okay, you said twenty. Yeah, and then see if my breath recharges. It does not. Baron is down. All right. Uh, I don't think Encino would have gone for the kill. He would definitely be pinning him down. Okay, so he's at one? Yeah, basically. Okay. Get him in a full Nelson! <laughs> but that's illegal. I know. Okay. If he's doing like an armbar half Nelson, then it's not illegal. Mm. And now we <clears throat> get Gold Shaper. So these are all of the people that you met are now getting into the fight. 
And so, yeah, as Encino just like, kind of beats the Baron down, he just holds him to the ground and, like, snarls at him. Okay, so shoot is one, two. Okay. okay. I'm going to look back. This is what you get for messing with somebody's culture, man. Shoot. Okay. So five, six, seven. Uh, okay. You watch. Okay. You watch as the first sister, Luna, goes down. What you see is um, effectively almost like a, yeah, it is, a gold coin just whiz right past your head and right into the wolf. Oh, and you wow. see a second one hit the first one that is fighting you. Nice. So. So now Luna only has one wolf to worry about? Yep. All right. Luna have to roll anything or we're fine. Oh, that's why. Huh? Luna does not have to roll anything right now. Luna, I think, is dead last in the Yeah, uh... Luna's last. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh no. She rolled very poor. I got a natural one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Encino. The Baron underneath you, uh, when you take him down to one, you immediately feel his breath change as you watch him begin to heal in front of you. Best you keep that to yourself. I have outlast, I have bested you. And I guess effectively I've grappled with him. But yeah. Technically, yeah. You kind of. Told you. Put him in a full He's Nelson. going to uh reach around for a bite. Does a twenty three hit? A twenty three hits. For twenty two damage. Ouch. Okay. That is his first attack. Mm -hmm. And now with a second, does a 24 hit? Yes. For 18 damage. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm almost at half. And with a snarl, he gets up. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Invitation accepted. Uh, Encino, get you a new rug. <laughs> <laughs> now it's not. Now it's not murder. Now it's a duel. Now it's legal. Okay. Um. Yeah, the lion. So the uh, the beast folk you guys didn't talk to, Duggle, who was a dog, runs oh. in. Huh? I'm sorry. He's like, oh, <laughs> that's the guy made of bones. Runs in uh, with a dagger going up against the lion. So one. And I should have the lion up. One, two. Still kill, steal, big Steve. And one. Huh? I said don't kill, steal, big Steve. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. He He didn't. Uh, I figured as much. He, he basically He's just like, comes yeah! in. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, he like starts slashing with his daggers and gets a couple of good hits in, but nothing like too serious. Okay. Uh, burn goes. Burn is headed to the dais as well, so he does not. He's not going to do anything. Uh, Boulder. Hi. I know somebody's trying to kill me. I just don't remember who they are. I think you had the hyena. The hyena. Okay. 
Oh yeah, because I fireball the hyena. How do you forget yes. you fireball? <laughs> <laughs> Signs you're a wizard when. <laughs> so I was gonna say forget a fireball. You cast something. I cast it like a week ago. All right. Yep. <laughs> well, because a wizard didn't work, I guess a bit warlock for a little bit. We're gonna Eldritch Blast because we like doing that around here. Okay. <laughs> For a 14 and a 12. Do either of those hit? Mm -hmm. I normally say tidy defender, but uh, both hit. For a total of seven. Okay. Yeah. Hyena's just... Uh, if you know the sound of the hyena laugh, that's what you're getting. Ooh. And all I can hear are the hyenas laughing from the uh, at the uh, Disney movie with that big old lion in it. That's actually oh, yeah. like yeah. very close to what they actually sound like. <laughs> okay. The giant hyena comes back at you with a single bite. Is yeah, a 23 hit? It. Yes. For 10. All right. At least it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it could have been worse. That is the hyena's roar turn. Luna! Luna! <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm assuming that once Luna took the berry, she transformed back already, right? Yes. So what she's going to do is going to yell at Encino to try and keep the Baron as busy as possible while she finishes off the wolf because I don't want an attack of opportunity. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Okay. Um, Encino's probably going to murder that bear. <laughs> Good. Just, just... Well, she's telling him not to. I already gave him the chance. And he bit me. Well, bite him. Bite him back. But try not to kill him. I have an idea. Go Just for the jugular. Let me try it. The jugular. Shut up, Badges. <laughs> All right, let's see how this dragon form's uppercut works. Okay. So she is going to. Oh, here we go again. And it goes wild. Yep, let's go. And the crowd goes wild. For the 70. Mm hmm. Bell mm. variation chaos surge. What happens? Badges Let's find out. Hold on. Luna here. You didn't say teleportation, did you? <clears throat> Bell variation. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. So, and then I rolled another 70. So. The spell targets the caster. If the triggered spell had a range of self, the GM chooses a different target. Oh, okay. great. What was the spell you were going to do? Firebolt. Okay, good. Bolt. Okay. And luckily I miss. Yep, <laughs> it does not hit you. <laughs> You, ah. What you see, what you see with this is you go to cast it and it goes out. Like you're going to cast, but it does a U turn and it goes to hit you and it just right behind you. What is this you. between? I got a, I got a vision. Got it, got it, I got, got a vision. Got it, got it. Hold on, hold on. Got it. So she, she sticks out her hand to shoot the firebolt. The fire goes out, gets like this close to the nose of the, of the dire wolf, does a U turn. But it starts losing a little bit of power as it comes back towards her and goes like right between our legs. Perfect. I was thinking it flies wild like <laughs> a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it can bounce off the floor and fly around a couple of times, but it's not going to hit anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Who did it's this a Super come? Mario fireball and just goes over. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, the shark hound was on Kurt. 
Oh yeah, the shark on came over to fight oh, Kurt, yeah. which means it's probably going to be oh, angry no, at badges. Or is it Since... confused? And badges I'm picked up the look. one that um or, like ran up to fight the one that Kurt was fighting to make sure Luna didn't get overwhelmed, so he's probably the closer of the two to the shark hound, which is nowhere near as cool as a birdle. No, he's not. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's going to unfortunately turn on you, Badges. Just confused. And first bite for 23, does it hit? Yes. 13 with a DC uh, give me a strength saving throw. Natural 14. Thank God, because I have plus nothing to strength. Okay. So that's the first <coughs> bite. And second bite, 21. No, oh, no, 21 doesn't hit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's... For 16 damage, and roll me another strength save. Nope, don't make that one. So uh, Badges goes down as a shark hound is nomming on your arm, is my thought. Yeah. Nom, 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 we'll nom, deal nom. with that in a moment. And the sister that is left for Luna. <clears throat> it's a 12 hit. No. Okay. Thank she you, goes Cloak. To, goes to bite and misses. Okay. Back at the top, badges. Uh, let's see here. Just checking something real quick. Um, I can't remember. Can I cast while prone? Uh, you have to spend your move action to get up. Yeah. Oh, oh that's fine then. The bad is <laughs> just spend his move action, get up. And then this some bitch is taking a uh, poison spray, right? Well, no, actually, wait. This is this 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 whole whole hall is a little too uh, a little too ostentatious anyway. So um, we're gonna do an Earth Hadouken, otherwise known as Erupting Earth. Okay. Uh, Earth Hadouken. Earth Hadouken. Yep. Uh, he needs to make a Dexterity saving throw, DC seventeen. Six. That's a no. Nope. <laughs> when you said poison spray all I thought was bad just pulls out a skunk and goes Chich. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to do that as a druid every spell is a different <laughs> animal uh, 29 damage uh, he's knocked okay. away from me and the uh, terrain pretty much around me is considered uh Difficult terrain. Okay. Yeah, he... he's like, grr, grr, and Badge is like, oh yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, Big he... Steve. He still gets up and like, I want to say hisses, but that is not the right sound for a dog. So I guess growls. Kind of like a like growl. A bark. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So make your noise. Well... You're dead next round. Well, get him, Big Steve. Yep. Now it's time for Big Steve Jabo to punch does a lion. Growl, so. Okay. Uh, twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four hits. All right. For twelve damage. Okay. He looks very worse for wear. And then 20 to hit, but not like a nat 20. Oh, 20 hits. All right. 21 damage. Lion is out. In my head, Big Steve's face is literally bad. It's been like, boop, boop, boop. Oh, yeah, he's got the smiley face. Yeah. Smile? Okay, it's a smile. Good. Yep. <laughs> and Big Steve goes like this, and it's a frowny face. No, oh, no. <laughs> the giant constrictor, who are you going to attack? Aina. The Baron. Dire wolf. Goes its own tail. Oh, that works. Oh, okay. Our side. 
for for this turn at least. <clears throat> Goes to bite, oh. and it misses. Oh come on! I just knocked it into the air with an uppercut. You don't can't hit it with the juggle. Yeah. Yep, it whiffs it. Belmont is still pushing. Encino, your turn. All right. Um, Encino is going to uh, first check to see if his dragon breath came back. It does. He's not going to use it, though. He is going to <laughs> one-two punch the Baron with a non-lethal claw attack. All right. Uh, Put him up. Is a 19 hit? Uh, yes, 19 hits. And dirty 20. And then that's 2d6 plus. Are you trying to get him back down to one again? Um, yes, this is your, these are non-lethal. Well, if I'm attacking non-lethal, he'll be knocked out. Okay. Once he hits zero. If he regenerates, though, he's probably yeah. going to shrug that off. So six, oh, that's 12. And... I mean, you ever tried to choke out a troll? <laughs> uh, 24 total. That kills him. Okay, so he's essentially knocked out. Yeah, he is he knocked out. I go full, like, show a Godzilla and just... <laughs> <laughs> okay so baron is ko'd the gold shaper goes zulki wins devil joe is knocked out for the lion <laughs> i just want to say hits but i don't think it does no the lion's out what am i saying <laughs> i didn't know it's down i didn't make sure <laughs> Long live the king. Uh, ah. never mind. <laughs> Going for the hyena. Yes, he is. And misses. Ping. Yes, he is. Makes a second one and misses. Ping. I love the second is a crit. They both were crits, technically, mm -hmm. if I take in the advantage, but... Nope. So those are two very, sometimes. very destroyed vases. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. uh... Bam. It's 50 Electrum. Bam, another 50 Electrum. Beast Folk is going to go Shark Hound. Let's see. Uh, one and two. Nope. No, no. Those both miss the Shark Hound as well. Okay. We don't well, we're doing Shark really Hound today. That's, shark Hound's still up in the air. The Beast Folk's not tall enough to reach. Yep. There we go. Uh, yeah, you just hear, my ball, my ball, my ball. Um, <laughs> Boulder, your turn. I don't like this kitty. I don't like him. The hyena? I don't like the hyena kitty. Hyena kitty. kitty. kitty but okay. <laughs> I have to say they're closer. Aren't they closer to dog? Probably. They're somewhere. They're neither, actually. Yeah. I think they're closer to like sloths or something. It's or really foxes weird. or something like that. Oh, ferrets. Mm. Well, yeah. Most... Well... No, they're cats. They're feliforms. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. That's... So go ahead and roll your attack on hyena. Were you still trying to figure out which spell you're going to use? Or are you still figuring out? We're going to make this hyena uncomfortable. We're going to put some bonfires down. Okay. It's going to be a DC 13 deck save. Boulder hasn't met a single city he didn't want to burn down. So you're taking 11 damage because you're sitting on top of a bonfire, buddy. Yeah. Oh, the fuck? <laughs> I told you fire was going to be used to solve problems tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you smell something burning? <laughs> Smells kind of good, man. 
Well, that's me. Ah. Okay. The giant hyena, now upset that you lit it on fire, Boulder is coming for you for 22. Does that hit? Uh, it does hit. For okay. eight piercing. Copyright lion cartoon. Oh, hey, buddy, can you make another deck save? <laughs> the hellish no. 22. Yes, you can make yeah. a deck save this time. Okay. <laughs> Do you take, does it take half or no? How does that work? Heck half as much on a successful one. Yeah, so two. So it takes okay. six damage. And it's now slightly more on fire. If you keep getting set on fire, you stop attacking. Have you considered the following? No. No, it has not. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's clippied, clippied by Pebble. Have you considered not fighting? Uh, Luna, your turn. Here we go again. Oh my god. <gasps> What happens this time? Nice. <laughs> Instead of the spell's intended effect, the spell produces 2,000 gold pieces per spell slot level of the triggering spell. The gold appears in an unoccupied space adjacent to the caster. You're oh, now wealthy. What we're using. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm going to flavor it this way. Luna goes to cast. And when she does... Right next to her, I'm saying right here. Mm -hmm. That's where the gold uh, ends up. So she's going to use the rest of whatever time she has just to go ahead and pick up that gold. <laughs> okay. Gold shapers unamused. In my head, Luna goes to like point her spell, and the arm just goes ka junk in her eyes. <laughs> Do a little slot machine thing. A little slot machine to turn into dollar signs. Yep. Then go gold, gold, gold. Oosh. Well, now she has enough gold to be able to buy something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All yep. of a sudden, well, she's although been... she, under her breath, she's cursing like stupid fucking cursive. What level uh, spell was she casting? Really? Firebolt again. That, that's that's okay. one for one for. GM. She wants to try and get rid of the dire wolf so that she can go and and use the brush on the Baron. Baron's dead. Baron is chaos. He's so I was carried out. I thought he was like yeah. fully dead. No, I had you KO. Yep, had a specific KO. Uh, shark hound, yay! Oh god, who did I have it attacking? It was attacking badges. Badges, okay. But badges, but the... uh, yeeted it away. Okay. Um. And the snake tried to bite it, so that might be distracting. I don't know. Um, yeah. It's going to try and hit the next biggest target in the room now, which is Encino. A 19 hits. 19 hits. For 16. Okay. Uh, and give me a uh, strength saving throw. Affect creatures that are larger. Uh, You're plus fine. <laughs> and then the oops. Well, that is with the plus six. Twenty-four to hit. Yeah, that hits. With fourteen. First one was sixteen. All right. And another a DC. second save strength savings throw. There 23 save it saves so you are fine you just have a shark hound now nomming on you just hanging clinging by an ankle bone just i'm not a true toy the dire wolf is still coming for you luna 18 to, or eight to hit miss that, that's a miss all right it just tries to nom and it misses again Badges. 
I was leaning down to pick up the gold and it tried to bite where I was. Yep. There we go. Back around to badges. Um, badges is going to send Big Steve against the snake. Because mm -hmm. you can't trust the snake. It goes on my thing, so I'm just going to have him do his thing first. Okay. Uh, 19. Hits. Uh, 17 damage. All right. And then 18. Hits. 16 damage. Okay. And then Badges is going to look around and be like, uh, uh. If and Luna sees this, she's just going to point, like, nonchalantly towards the dire wolf in front of her. Yeah, Badges is just going to be like, stop trying to bite our wolf girl. She doesn't like it. It doesn't play that way. And he's going to poison spray it right in the face. Okay. 17 hit. I want to say yes, it does. Yep, it does. Okay. And that is 20 damage. This thing does not look good. Like one more hit and it is gone. That's unfortunately. Well, no, I still get a bonus action. Um, we're going to, I think. Welcome okay. in, Raiders. Oh, hi, hello, Raiders. Hello. Uh, let's go ahead and. Healing word, um, Boulder. Mm -hmm. So that will be fourteen hit points. Okay. Best uh, you can really get out of healing word. Um. Uh, fifteen. Okay, then I get fifteen. Oh, okay. Because okay. we like the um the invocation. Oh yeah, yeah. So let's see. He's like, kill a snake, big Steve, poison spray, get better, scrub, and uh, and that's badges. Um, I already rolled the snake. I am sorry, Boulder. It's Why right. Boulder? What? It's just, it's just one of those. It's, it's one of just those what it rolled. It's what it Boulder's rolled. Disney princess moment. Um, and it's going to try to grapple you. Does a twelve hit? Uh, tied to defender. All right, it fails to constrict you. So right now, you are safe. Uncomfortably cuddled. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> being bit by a hyena and giving a solid hug to a snake Belmont finally opens the dais oh okay well you're way earlier than I thought you were going to be but okay oh, I'm dear. not allowed I'm sorry guys it was in, <sighs> it's in the rule book I know what I was going to do another Godzilla thing into this room. to finish this before that Stick his head in the hole and breathe down it. Yeah, full on <laughs> mood out. <of> <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys have some time before anything else shows up. Okay. The guard captain. I had to go and check. Good. Have some time. So, he goes... Uh, Encino. All right. Encino is going to attack the shark hound because I am not appreciative of this goober trying to chew on my legs. Hit. 27 and... 
28. Uh, those are the 2d6s. Okay. Uh, and is 28 so, a attack roll or? Those are both attack rolls. Both hit. So uh, first one is 11 damage. And the second one, what is with me rolling sixes? 12. It's literally five, one, two, four, but. But you're willing to attack to hit. That's what matters. Um, Is it dead? No. Then he's going to bite him. Is that... <laughs> there we go. I can't find I my. my sure what? what did you roll? Uh, 24. Hits. Okay. And then, so this is going to be. 2d10 plus 6. I think there's a lot of dice involved with that. 18 damage on the bite. Plus two necrotic damage. He's out. The shark hound is out. Chomp. Yeet. <laughs> out the window. Windows? They're all there. closed. <laughs> that no, doesn't matter. Now. <laughs> Sounds like a problem. Not our problem. But it Sounds does sound like a problem. Sounds like a problem Sounds that projectile like there will get solved. Oh, all right. Shark hound is out. It is. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Gold Shaper is going next. Let's see. With one. Nope. Nope. I'm 90% sure it's a nope. Yeah, those are both nopes. They missed. Critical whiff. Why can't the others get those? That 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 that's a really great question because I would like to know that too. Because <laughs> this is a fool's gold campaign. <laughs> yeah. Fool's gold does not like its players. No, yeah. no, it does not. Uh, beast folk, dude. Let's see. Can you make a hit on this? On the big snaky? Okay, those both hit. All right. <laughs> beast folk don't like some damage. Oh, fuck. Ten for a total of ten, but better than zero. We Definitely better than zero. Yeah. Again, you just kind of see this. Ah! <laughs> that that is your footing is so my... horribly off, but you know what? You're getting the work done. Yeah. Okay. Burn it's a dog is. Folk, right? Huh? He's a dog, dog folk. Yep. Yeah. Snake bad. Snake bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Burn is still doing his thing with uh Belmont. Kind of like looking at down there. Boulder, your turn. There's you a lot in my face right now. The hyena is barely standing. The snake looks worse for wear. The baron is the down. The snake doesn't care. The hyena has is like set for me. True. Snakey snake just attacks everybody. Does not care. Snake is also bad at being a snake, so I'm down for that. <laughs> Arm the skunk. Look, it's only a part-time snake, all right? Snake. We're going to make ourselves another bonfire because that worked out well. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, no. I mean... So how does he Nine, it fails. It fails for two damage. Singe the other eyebrow. Okay. The belly now you definitely don't have any fur on your tail. Yeah. It's only need one. Not yeah. even good hit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's what's it's what's crazy. Mr. Hyena gonna do? Um. Oh, is that your move? Yeah, that's my move. Okay. He's going to do the same thing. 21. Does that hit? Okay. Yeah, it hits. For nine piercing. Cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll concentration on that. And a 21 saves. Is the hyena done their turn? That is their turn. They're standing on a bonfire and need to make a deck save. 19. 
19 does save, but they still take half damage, if I remember right. Yeah, it's half. They take four damage. They are out. Okay. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Hyena is out. Luna, your turn. Luna sees that this doggo in front of her is about out. She knows that she tries casting a spell. It could go wild. She's actually going to use the little tiny brain cell she has and attack with Something I don't think anybody in the group has seen her attack with yet. A quarter staff. Oh. Let's She's go. She's used it before. She... 24. But, yeah, apparently when she uses it. It's. <laughs> I mean, you're just so not used to the weight stick. yet. You're used to trying to cast with it. Uh, three damage. Yep. Please tell me that kills it. No. One more hit is all it needs. Unfortunately, I only get one round. Uh, yeah. But it's going to go again for the bite, even though it's weak. It's but she's going to be like, okay, this is how I'm going to flavor this one. She's going to look at um, badges, mm -hmm. and it's going to be like, look, I finally hit it. I finally hit it. <laughs> and uh, roll me a strength saving throw. Now, question: A wolf biting Luna? Does that like get through her clothes and touch her skin? It's ten piercing. So it gets through her clothes and touches her skin. Technically, could, yes. Yeah. Does that mean it gets the curse? Technically, yes. The curse. I saved though. Yep, you roll saved. Curse. Roll yep. for curse. Roll for curse. Roll, roll for curse. curse. Roll for <laughs> curse. Roll for curse. Embarrassment before death. Yep. <laughs> Literally right before death, too. Turn to do giant wolf chicken. Okay. Here we go. 89. Let's see what that is. You are haunted by a golden potato with wings that appears to distract you at the worst possible times. You have disadvantage on all initiative rolls. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that that doesn't really do much, but No, but it's funny, like the wolf just bites Luna and all of a sudden pop. Oh wait a minute, that's the, the one that start that's the one for the characters that start. Give me a minute. What the hell? Spreading the cares. I mean, we have a golden pile. We can have a potato show up out of a golden pile of coins. Yeah. <laughs> um, hold on. Luna's familiar is a golden potato with wings. I know, I know the exact voice for this character, too, but I don't <laughs> know if how much trouble I will get in for doing it. Hi, meow. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Hey, hold on. Well, that was the golden potato. But how is this thing actually? Go good? ahead and move on while I look into this. Oh, All no. right. We're, we need to consult the tomes to figure out what in the world we just did to the Star Wolf. <laughs> but right before death, too. Badges. Yeah, golden potato notwithstanding. Badges uh, is, is just, he's done. He's done with this, especially because he knows that stuff's going to be coming up out of that friggin' tunnel. That was uncovered before they finished the fight because Belmont planned so good. So he's going to uh, go ahead and poison spray the wolf. Uh, 25. Hits. 18. And it's out. Don't fight my friends. Still alive. Uh, the snake is still alive, but you know what? We still got Big Steve for about another hour. So, Big Steve is going to go punch him a snake. Ah, okay. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. 
Uh, let's see here. I don't know. I'm just going to do roll both of his attacks because who knows? Uh, 23 and 12. Both hit. Oh, all right. Uh, 8 37 total. And Snake is out. Big Steve Punch! That makes Big Steve three. Yep. Okay, three kills well, for Big Steve. And that is everyone. At this point, I would just leave the golden potato. I think it's the best possible curse we could have gotten. But, you know, I'm going to have to. Oh, no, it does work. But since the beast is out, I don't need to worry about that then. Yep. Yeah. No, that is the way it works. I just need to learn to read faster. Oh, you're fine. No worries. Okay, so if we're out of combat then, Luna is going to run over to where the bear is, take out the brush, and definitely go ahead and swipe I have this, the I have brush. This up. I have this up. No, that's the wrong one. Where's the right one? Uh, it's a D10, if I remember right. Yes, but I have, have the... Um... I think it's in Discord. If you want to find it, brush. Here we go. Uh, yeah, you roll a D10. Okay. Okay. So let me... Right, what was the roll? Oh, um, I'm looking first. What is it? It's an 8. Neutral eight, good. Eight. Yep, that is also what I got. I got an 8. Oh, yay. So is that a permanent alignment change? That is a yep. permanent alignment change. Yes. It oh, is. well, good thing you didn't kill him then, I guess, but still wouldn't have been sad if you had killed him. We also well, actually, now. now he turns back to his regular form, though. Yeah. And he's no longer... No is, longer. He, is he wearing clothes, or do they all, like, hulk out of their clothes when they... No, nope. uh, their, their clothes are still there. Oh, We're going to say magic... It... It just stays. Oh yeah, polymorph doesn't. It's a polymorph thing, so you keep your yeah. polymorph. Yeah. And he is yeah. down. Okay. From below, you begin to hear the sounds of groans and moans. <sighs> As you get to see your first crystal sire. Siren? Sire. Sire. S-I-R-E. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Badges is going to take a quick moment to poke Boulder and heal him for 23. Thank you. As it shambles out. Big steep kill. It's very obvious what it is. It is a corpse that has been imbued with a crystal that is forcing the corpse to move on its own. Crystal zombies. Got it. Joyful. Okay. Or cryborgs. I don't know. But whatever it is, we're going to punch it. Okay. Are we re-rolling initiative? Are we staying in the same initiative nope. order? I'm not doing initiative yet. It is only one that comes out. Okay. Belmont in his rage you hear him roar idiots they were supposed to have them all here ready what happened Basically. as he begins to go down I'll to investigate him. burn Did following you... can we I... stop him before he goes down <laughs> oh there go all of my plans most of which involve dropping Spells are heavy things down the tube on the monsters. Should, should we go after them? Yeah, just a moment. Uh, Big Steve kill. Uh, okay, roll me a uh, hit. Uh, 21 and 17. Both hit. Okay. I can math. 33. 
Hey. This one was weaker. And it collapses. Hmm. Does anyone go to look at it? No, I'm preoccupied. Yeah, badges will. Because I have a feeling it's going to look like that missing brother. <laughs> um, <laughs> as, as, badges, like as badges but... goes to the corpse, Encino's kind of kind of like almost like protectively go over him and the the other zombie. And he's like, because he's got um 120 foot dark vision because he's still embiggened. Mm-hmm. So he's going to look down the hole and see what's... Okay. I will explain His what head you... would just like, just sort of punk. In a bird of periscope. Yeah. yeah. So as you get up, you notice it is the corpse of a young half-elf male. It's the brother? It's the brother. Yeah, okay. somebody needs to answer that phone because I fucking call it. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I will say I'm changing this from the book. The book says that the Baron killed him. Oh, okay. I, yeah, this I, is I, definitely be- better. This is a better story. Yes. Yeah. This, is, this is Baron killed him and. Yeah. Oh, and then, just then Big Steve killed him again. That mm. badge is going to just kind of sigh and push the body off to the side. It's like we're going to need her to identify that later. But. Uh, what do your dragon eyes see, Encino? <laughs> Looking down, you see hidden stairs. Um, and you can see Belmont heading down. And, followed by that other guy. Uh, yes, followed by Byrne. Um, and he's yelling the names of of people who aren't answering back. Oh, gee, who wow. could have thought that corralling Ooh, wow. crystal zombies <laughs> to attack a party could ever backfire on you and possibly kill everyone you sent to put that plan into place? And what better way to determine what happened than to run face first into that situation? It's like Cabin of the Woods on um, theater doesn't exist in this universe. It's almost yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, whatever you do, don't read the Latin. Yep. We go down. No, I, you must not read from the book. Uh, it says, look, it says look here for instructions on how to read the book. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so everything seems to be under control here in the main room now. Correct. All the attacky, tacky ones are dead. Yeah. Badges is going to look at everybody else who's still alive and be like, do whatever. I don't even care anymore. Um, Pretty sure the Baron's not evil anymore. Magic brush, don't ask. Um, he's probably going to feel really terrible when he wakes up. Let him. He deserves it. Um, we're going to go try and keep a horde of undead from spilling over into the city because why not top the night with something fun? <laughs> and then Badges is just going to start going down the stairs, just fumingly upset about this whole situation I'm, I'm taking it big steve can't go down these stairs no big steve, big steve it is a what? 15 foot wide rough stone tunnel um oh, hear me out that's still I don't think enough for can a go large that. oh it is okay i did not yeah, know because um large is only like 10 feet uh okay so i won't be able to do any cool <laughs> it's kaiju gonna stuff be... but like a cat through a tunnel. Cage. I'll show you something cool. Blah. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. That's true, because you have your breath back. I ain't getting in that rib cage. Um, badges <laughs> is just... He's like, all right, Big Steve, you go first. You've you got the most kills on this team, so let's go. And you're just going to just storm down the stairs with behind Big Steve. Just... Stupid. So, of... Luna will timidly follow. Undead. Encino first. Badges. With Big Steve. Then Luna. With Boulder followed by Rocky. And nobody has noticed Rocky. And Question. Um, okay. big. Can yeah, I, I you... cast Paladin spells as a dragon? Technically no. Technically no. Okay. Okay. Batches and Sino. Luna. And then Boulder. And... Rock. 
safety. How bad is Boulder looking still? How bad does um, everyone look? Boulder is knows under half. Oh. If he could bleed, he would be right now. Yeah, but he's undead, so I can't really do anything for him. Technically, he's a dragon. He's not technically undead. Is that is that true, DM? Because yes. they, yes. okay. Um he's a dragon. I mean, I don't know how much it'll help, but he's going to poke in Sino and reach around Big Steve, poke in Sino and uh do a cure light wounds with a second level spell slot. Okay. Boulder, how bad did you say you were looking? Uh not not bad at all. Not bad. Boys and Luna? Uh I've only lost ten points. Okay. Badges is not at half yet, so it would be convenient for the stirs to be long enough for a short rest, for a technical note. I will tell you, you are not fighting anyone for a bit. Is it long yeah. enough for, say, a warlock to get spells back? Yes. Right. It is long enough for everyone to take a rest and to breathe for a moment. Yeah, well, it, Badges is just going to have Big Steve carry him for a little bit. Like, just cradled princess style. Um, and Encino gets 20 hit points back. Okay. Boop. Boink. <laughs> Luna only took a mild bite. Is the potato following us? Please tell me the potato is following us. It is following Luna. The potato jumped in the pot at some point. The potato's like, there's a lot of gold here. I feel an affinity. <laughs> I like you guys. Can I stay for a bit? Uh, oh, no. And yep, that's the voice I'm choosing. That's up to what your summoner. Hath I raw? What hath I brought on this world? Oh, oh my! <laughs> Existence oh, is my. pain. <laughs> I, I, I There's enough chefs in this party. We can find something nice for you later. Yeah. That, that, we need to walk somewhere. <laughs> Let's be, let's be friends. Oh, joy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have allowed me to allow this character be free. I'm just saying. Okay. Yes. Look, you've so... given us leeway on some chaos. We can give you some leeway on some chaos. <laughs> yeah, so, indeed. Um, eventually, when you two head down, there are two guards that Belmont is giving a tongue, la tongue lashing to? I mean, it doesn't seem like the time or place for that sort of thing, but... Oh, yelling at them. Yeah, okay. Yes. Um... <laughs> just, just Encino's <laughs> giant dragon head just sort of, like, sneaking up behind Belmont. <laughs> just... What you doing? That was... Mr. Bones, but <laughs> close enough. Uh, Belmont turns around really. angrily. These idiots! They had one job, one job. Do they really need to do the job now? The the Baron's subdued and good. Everybody else is dead. True. And um, well, except I think that centipede might still be protecting everybody, all the musicians. But she does that every year. Okay, well, her partner's one of the musicians. Oh, well, oh, well all right, that then. Makes sense. Well, um, yeah, then all the other ones are dead. And he goes, Then let's see what's further in. How about you? Oh, um, quick question Did we actually take like a short rest? Yes, yes. okay, then I'm a dr I'm I'm me again. Okay, you're in Sino again. Yeah. Not Goes all Cino. Super Mario. Just... <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Great, and Sino has a bunch more of those berries, so he has his own. Oh, he did. Version. Oh yeah, he got yeah, the stash. We, he grabbed uh, <laughs> as many as he could. He could get his hands on. I thought so. Uh, he's got his own fucking super mushrooms going on here. Actually, I think it was Kurt. That stole a bunch. Oh yeah, Kurt stole. Yeah. Oh no, you're yeah. right. It was and Kurt. then he really he probably doesn't <laughs> get rid of them. Yeah. It was dumb. This sucks. <laughs> Badges like still it. has his though. Badges is going to hand his to Encino. He's like, I ain't taking it. 
but this might come in handy for you at some point, my friend. Hmm. Wraps it up carefully. In case it is needed. Yeah, that was yeah. Encino. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> As you guys uh, begin to move up a couple of stairs, three alchemists dressed in protective equipment are hard at work stirring huge bubbling vats and packaging an unknown substance into discreet packages. The air is thick with an eye stinging mixture of smells and two gruff looking gar and no and four gruff looking guards wearing the Baron's colors are playing cards at a small ta small table near the far door. There we go. Why can't I speak? Over here. Does Encino need to breathe? Mechanically, yes. But he okay. has no sense of smell. Oh uh, no, it's more um I think he can he's got the better constitution. So Badges is gonna cast air bubble as a third level spell around his head, Rocky's head, or sorry, Boulder's head, and Luna's head, which gives them an encased bubble of fresh air that will keep this crap out of their lungs. I don't know if it's that. necessary. The air is also it just feels a little bit cleaner around Encino. Okay. Because of his aura of protection. It will last without concentration, which is why I did it, uh, mm -hmm. for up to 24 hours for each bubble. So, also, if we get, you know, dumped in a river or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Where did I put my notes? I just had my notes out. So, around you, you realize, because uh, you all have seen them before now, you are in a crumbling or claimer building. Well, at least there are no murder bees. Yet. Yet. Fine cats. Oh, come on, I don't think we're going to find any right now. Right, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't be negative. Let's be positive. <laughs> Look, you let me live my life. I'm too often... No, he's going to be I'm kidding, Luna. Pat her on the head. But I'm too often right in these situations. It's almost like I'm genre savvy or something. Anyway, <laughs> so so what are we gonna do about the, the 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 the? And then she just keeps stuttering, but points over towards the guards. Oh, um, you guys, you leave or you die. I am not giving you any other options. Oh, I just, just so you know, scare. you no longer have jobs. Yep, the Baron has been taken out. All the nobles who support him have been taken out. The zombies are about out. Uh, Just go. What? Then they point to Belmont. He he's our boss. Okay. Big Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you Belmont. Belmont goes. They're with me. They're with me. They were. They're fine. Just leave them alone. Why didn't you say anything? And why are they still creating the drugs? Kind of they're... Po po uh, points to them in the Baron's colors. I keeping up appearances. You, you four, you're free to go. And they just like, okay, and walk off. And it's the alchemists who are more confused as to what is going on. Explain, Belmont. They do work for the Baron, not for me. Willingly? Like no family locked up and held hostage or anything? Uh, Looks to them, and the three uh, alchemists are like, we can go home? Go We're home. Gonna go home? Go yeah. home. Go, go home. home. If you make anything like this again, I will find you. And Big Steve will squeeze you from the feet to the skull like a toothpaste tube. Actually, are you good at following directions? Kind of looks at each other, looks at what they've been making. I mean, if we need cooks, consider. We can we cook. Need... Yeah, um, just... Leave your addresses with one of the guards uh, and then go home for now. 
they have just our here, information, go. but okay. Okay, perfect. Then they have your information. Just, just go, go. And three very confused alchemists just walk only. We will be in contact. Okay. All right. So what are they making? I think that's yeah. what. Although Encino is not smart when it comes to modern people things. Mm. He's thinking, oh, they're making soup. I mean, Roll me a uh, constitution. Okay. Uh, did he put his finger in there and taste yeah, it? Yeah, how did he? Oh, no, he's just he's just going over to it and kind of... Like, what? what is it? Now I need the Chaos Surge. I should just make a copy of the Chaos Surge. Oh wait, you didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. He didn't touch it. Okay. And Belmont should be able to tell us. Belmont, what what is this stuff? He doesn't know. He was never in that deep to know. Are there any books or scrolls laying around that might detail what it is? Or is it just like lists of ingredients? Not in all, all honesty. There's no knowing what this is. What All right. Is. You know that they are using bits of um the crystals. Oh, that's not from good. inside here. That's really not good. All right, so unless somebody wants to take a sample, safely take a sample. Wait. I have vials. All right, Badges is going to look for some tongs or something. Or is there any finished can, product that's already bottled? I can help. She's already cursed. There are in other areas, but not here. All right, if there are in other what areas, Luna will probably still need that help. But for now, Badges is going to get the cauldrons close together. And rather than dump it or anything, he's just going to cast Purify Food and Drink. Okay. So everything in a five-foot radius... That is food, could be food or drink is now purified and harmless. Okay. That works. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Luna, if you can keep an eye out for some some of the vials to grab, please don't don't test it. Um, Just grab and hold on to some vials. Okay. And if your magical senses or knowledge can glean us some insight into what this was supposed to do, that would be fantastic. Belmont. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and roll an investigation to see if she can figure it out. And this is going to be done before he purifies it, of course. Of course. Uh, nope, she ain't going to figure it out. Yeah. Here's to be some I need to put office. more I need to put more points into my intelligence, which is what I'm going to do ne- uh, when that comes up next level. Yep. Okay. It appears to be some sort of alchemy. <laughs> All I can say. see is that it's alchemy. I've never seen anything like this before. No, it's all right. It's all right. Um, I'm sorry. No, you, you you had the best chance out of all of us. Well, uh, so okay. once again, like I said, grab some vials. We can take them to some actual alchemists when we get out of here. But apparently we're going to go deeper. Okay. Mm-hmm. We should have questioned those guys before we let them go. Where is the zombie? Right now, you don't see any. Looking at Beaumont, you said there would be an army. And he's just How like, many? there were supposed to be. Yeah. I'm there, sure. At least there was. Not Are there sure any other exits? Not sure. No. Look. At least none well, that you know of. I mean, there's the sewers, but they'd all get murdered in the sewers. And. Uh, were they supposed to bring them through the sewers? No. How are they getting them in here? Are they already here? Spoilers. Oh. <laughs> In other words, the the answer Belmont. that you're looking for is spoilers. Belmont doesn't know. How many years have they been doing this? Uh, for now, let's just sabotage all the equipment. I don't even so, want to try and repurpose it. 
yeah this that is the doorway uh you can go into really anywhere now down here um what you do see as you exit the alchemist room is another stairway with a door and one two three four five tunnels do we hear or smell rushing water or anything? Oh, well, shit, Badges wouldn't smell anything. He's got the air bubble. Do we hear um, water or any out of place sounds? The other door in the area is I where you would hear any other sounds. Probably where they're smuggling it out, but shall we go check that door? Oh, we can. You see who goes first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Um, Belmont is not coming with you, and neither is Burn. They, uh, Belmont is going to go and deal with Topside, and Burn has all the information he needs to make a, an expose. Well, that's good. I didn't want to try and keep him alive anyway. I mean, I would have. I'm a nice guy. Everybody knows how nice I am, but... Didn't want oh, to. that's right. That's the guy that's uh, the reporter dude, huh? Yep. Yep. I forgot. <clears throat> but Belmont, Belmont, we did tell him already about the Baron being good, right? Yeah. Someone did, okay. yeah. So he's handling that. Good for him. He can. So I guess we're uh, Encino's opening the door where we hear noise. When you go in, you see four workers just stirring large rect rectangular vats with long handled paddles and three guards overseeing the operation. It's over. Go home. Go home. Belmont's already recalled the other guards. The Baron is deposed. Um uh, all of your all those freaky shape shifting douchebag nobles are dead. We're shutting this whole thing down. Leave. Who can go home now? They listen. God damn right they do. <laughs> if Encino himself wasn't enough, Encino <laughs> and Big Steve. Yeah. It is like, yeah. yeah. Um. So when you come in here, you see that the pipes from the other room are depositing the waste in here. Uh, and it is being pushed out into the sewers. Of course um, it is, because that couldn't possibly make things even worse in the already terrifying mm, sewers. Sewer mutants. Can we, yeah. turn, uh, can we turn it off? Mm, not from here, no. Well, there's not going to be... Like, this is the end of the waste, I think, really, again, because they're not going to start this up again. So if they do, we're coming back, and this time everything burns. Even stone. We will find a way to make it happen. I like fire. Exactly. Uh, We've noticed. On the farthest wall, you see another door. You know, uh, over here? Yes. Okay. Well. I mean, I know, do you, were there any kind of lines in the last, like, factory we were in or no? I don't. No, nothing like this. Nothing like this? Okay. Because I guess something's powering it, so it's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Likely the crystal that Ohio Jack wants us to find. That is possible. If yeah. the last one was any indication. Totally, totally true. Very true. Are you going through that door? Yeah, and Sino's gonna, you know, creak it open a little bit to see what's beyond it. No. Is it the zombies? The channel of brown sewage has an unnatural orange sheen with frost of bright green foam. On either side of it, the narrow walkways and rough walls are slick with glowing algae. A blocky stone building is built above the stinking river. Foul sludge pours from its two pipes into the foul waters below. On the right, steps rise up to a heavy metal door. You, that is how you get into the sewer. <laughs> yeah, the and that is not Let's where we're the door. definitely not going. 
in my head, I'm I'm seeing it like open up and just like a bunch of black light neon all over the walls and stuff. <clears throat> Pretty much. And the bodies of everybody who tried to hold the rave down here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going Lots there. Night City now. The sewers. The PRs. Yeah. And worse than normal sewers. Yucky. Yeah. So, I can't imagine what Luna's smelling right now. Luna has the air there. bubble. Yeah, everybody oh. but Encino has the air bubble because I could. I'm trying to conserve some spell slots, and mm. uh, the max I could cast or could create was three. So I figured. Ah, okay. So if the he one really needs it. Doesn't care what it smells like. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we're gonna close that up, and then I guess we want to go down the closest tunnel, the one on the bottom, since well, out of character we can't tell what's actually in there. So, right. Blink dogs appeared. Yeah. I will read this. Uh, the natural formation of the cavern and its tunnels are intact for the most part, winding and wrapping quickly out of view. For You said you wanted to look down 5F? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, 5F has been collapsed for a while. Hmm. All right. I mean, you just, do we trust the geology? I mean, I not to disturb it. Yeah, we should just leave it alone. If if no other tunnels are are open, we can try and excavate one of them. But for now, we should probably just do them in order, in reverse order. Go up to five E. Yeah. Sorry, go up to the next tunnel in line because they're not neatly labeled like this for us in character. I mean, right? There's just signs on each side. Yeah. Five E. So yeah, we'll just go up to this. If the class was natural, or if it seems like. Something caused the collapse. Oh, this is all natural. Me. Okay. So then, yeah, we'll go. So if you want, you can be looking for rocks down here. There will be a lot of them. Good. <laughs> Walking in the Boulder Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> Boulder <laughs> finally rocks. gets his want, yeah. his his wish. Okay. Now, what kind of now? How many rocks do I find? Many rocks. Many, many rocks. Many rocks. Some interesting ones. Yeah. Um, as you begin walking down the, uh, tunnel, you see in the middle a corpse of a guard. Oh, are you surprised? Recent corpse or been there for a while corpse? Recent. Okay. This uh, no good. Is it like pouring clothing or is it just like... It is seems... still in the clothing. Hmm. Like struggle, like no struggle, or not obvious. You'd have to roll investigation. I will give you a medicine check. Oh no, Luna, you got. Yep, Badges does not know this. Luna's the, I think, the only one, unless Encino would like to roll. Probably not, but we'll see what happens. Nope. A six. Luna, you catch it. Uh, I'll say you smell it first. Okay. It's undead. It will rise back up if you get too close. Guys, guys, get the stay, stay away, stay away. Um, um, that it, it. It, it's not alive, but it's not dead either. <sighs> More zombies. Um, 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 Set it on fire from here, Luna? That's, the, she was actually about to say, uh, want me to fire? Yes. Yes, fire away. And, fire uh, away I go. When oh, she shit. goes to do that, uh, he's going to step behind Big Steve. <laughs> 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 he's like, get it, Luna! Whoop! So, not me! 58... Caster and target. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It, it was 84. My apologies. The 58 was the wild. 84 yes. spell variation again. Mm -hmm. And number 16 on that chart. Instead of its intended effect, the spell produces 2d4 puppies. 
All right. Okay. Uh, five puppies. So instead of bonfire, it's just puppies. Instead like... of fireball, it's puppies. <laughs> Volt. Uh... Yeah, just. Ben just immediately just scoops them all up. Just... Try that again. But please, no more puppies. This is all I can carry. Okay. There. We got yes. it this time. <laughs> I'm it. There. 14 fire damage. Okay. Again, this one is weak. Because it's only recently crystal sired, and you create a fire that is now blocking this trail. I we think could... we need to go another way. I think we do too. He's gonna... Badges is going to be like digging in his pack and getting out like an extra sort of backpack to put all the puppies in with a little blanket lining it, and he's feeding them little 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 tidbits. Are we? No, I'm delighted. I love puppies. <laughs> Big Steve has one sitting on his head. Yeah, yeah, there you go. In his hand, on his head would be too un unstable for. Well, if it's like, to... you know, the observation sploot. Oh, okay, maybe. So. So we're going up five D. Yeah. As you do, you begin to hear the voice. Does anyone speak Goblin? Uh, oh, dwarvish. um, sorry, before Falcon. we do that, um, yeah. I would like to use Divine Sense. Go ahead. Okay. What are you looking It's not a roll. Um, it just means that I can sense undead within, what is it, a lot? It's a lot. Okay. When you're wearing this until the end of your next turn, you can know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet of you that is not behind total cover. Uh, so there's oh, definitely the one fiend. Too. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, they are too far out of range. Okay. So um, I'll be like, I, I do not say... sense any other zombies in our immediate vicinity. There we go. Well, that's good. But whatever that is speaking, I don't understand it, unfortunately. You hear, uh, and uh, you quickly see two Rascom guards um, carrying out, dragging a goblin and uh, back towards you guys. And the goblin is praying. I don't In like goblin. this. What are you doing with that goblin? And just to keep you, you know, before you do anything rash, um, the commander has already deposed the baron and said we're shutting all this crap down. So what are you doing with the goblin? Goblin removing it. Where did the goblin come from? It's it's looks down at it, trying to get an answer. Looks back. I don't speak goblin. I just caught it sneaking in here, and I just well, was trying to get it out. Okay, hey, just making sure a lot of shady shit going on down here. Goblin, yo, do you speak common? Yes. Uh, all right. Only voice I have for goblins. Yes. Good. What were you doing down here? Uh, shinies. Yeah, you don't want any shinies down here. These are the kind of shinies that will burrow under your skin, kill your brain, and turn you into a zombie. Uh, points back. Big, big, big shiny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely don't want to mess with that one. You should probably get out of here while it's still semi-safe. Big Shiny has stabby defenders. No. Hurt you real bad. Okay. And it just starts walking out with the guards at that point, like, 
Five E score. Them's the brakes. <laughs> yep. Uh, good guards. Are there any other guards down here besides the one that was turned into a zombie in that other tunnel? One. But they're not an issue if Belmont gave the command. He did. Although the zombies that were supposed to show up never did, so that's worrisome. Yeah. Do you know why? points behind them. They kind of got stuck. There's something, I hate that. There's something oh. back there that they're all drawn to and we couldn't pull them away. Yeah, that would be the master crystal. That's Probably. Uh... <laughs> oh. All right, yeah. Run while you can. This is going to get ugly. You know how I know? Because everything we do gets ugly. <laughs> this. Fatuous. What? Accidental competence is kind of our thing. <laughs> it really is. I guess so. Yeah, just... If you're looking for uh, something at least good down here, there's a place, a couple of, one of the tunnels, I don't know where it is. Of course you're going to do that to me, Apple. Thank you. Um, I think there's a treasure chest that someone left. Treasure? Yeah. Oh, that's totally not a mimic. Uh, has anybody touched this treasure chest? I don't know. Has anybody who's survived touched this treasure chest? Look at you again. I don't know. I just know I've seen it. Do you like puppies? Of course. Would you? All like right. One? Uh, would you like? Can you at least take these five puppies? I'm not going to tell you how they got down here. Um, but five puppies and just keep them safe upstairs. Maybe get them some food and nice they, little box. They take it, and just very confused. Sure. Great. Whatever takes it up the goblin turns around um and i think nothing for you saving me and walks away it's out of earshot the guards like who's the person to avoid (laughs) (laughs) now badges doesn't it's obvious badges doesn't actually like giving up the puppies but it's the best choice uh, what they're so likely to face. Yeah. yeah. He hands the box off, but like doesn't actually let go. <laughs> I don't know. Uh we'll say they're all the same breed, because they're all the same litter. That's what we'll say. Uh, yeah. Basset hounds. For some reason my brain went basset hounds. Right here, too. I was <laughs> meet oh, I was 100%. I, I got it. I got it. The uh, <laughs> the mom is the mom is the baron's dog. Who just had puppies, and that's where the puppies came from. <laughs> yep, yep. I, the I got God. Come on, come on. He isn't even here. <laughs> he isn't even here, guys. I know. There's no, be... there's no downside for her reading chat other than us okay. making fun of her. Oh no, yeah. the S spike is what we got it for, not for you to reading chat. Oh no, you got it for me reading chat. Uh, no, you gave us an Esquire immediately. Oh, after. I did. Oops. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> the other day, I gave you like six. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, do we want to chest, uh, check out the obvious trap that is that chest first? So, you guys are at D, which is here, and you can actually keep going down if you want. Where did they say the chest was? <laughs> they said somewhere they didn't remember where. Since I can't actually see, I'm guessing it's over here, because of course it would be, but I can't actually see this because we don't have a map, so I'm going to just say, screw it, we should probably just see what's down this tunnel first. For 5C? 5D. or at the end of 5D? D. Okay. Yeah, I thought we were in D. Yep. Yeah. At the end of 5D, you, oh, that is not what I meant to do! Uh-huh. You closed something. <laughs> you just crashed roll 20, didn't you? No, I didn't. I closed the wrong thing. Okay. <laughs> Not fun. I know that look. <laughs> when you get here, 
Mm-hmm. You get to an ancient plaza with, uh, as you get up, you realize that this is another automatron manufacturing area. In the very dead center, you see an automatron that it looks like a triceratops is the best description I can give you. But right now, it is not on. Yeah, but I imagine as soon as we touch the wrong thing, it's going to turn on and fire laser beams from its horns or something. Uh, You can see a few traces of architecture that remain. Uh, That's from the rock. Uh, but any, everything is damaged from who knows what. Any any writing that's legible? Uh, no writing, but you do see a door here, a door here, a door here, and a door and one. Oh no, you don't see this one. You just see a wall there. We're, so we're right here right now. Yes. Like okay. right here. Well, I mean that's what I meant, but we, yeah. <laughs> we can see this area here. Yes, yeah. that is the area you can see. Luna is quietly going to step in and walk around the area itself. Just quietly well. The bubble's still around her head, I'm assuming, so she can't yep. sniff. But she's definitely going to take a look around. Okay. Yep. As you do, you realize this door is open. And that's the door badges was going to. Um, this door has three very large scratches on it. And... Uh, if you guys want, roll me perception to see what else is here. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. Barely missed it. Eleven. Missed it. Badges sees it. Nope. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. If anything, someone needs to hold Boulder back. Boulder's just like, this is so many interesting rocks. So yeah. many rocks. Starting his collection. Okay, Rocky will hold them back. Rocky also sees it. Um, <laughs> You realize that the same type of crystals that were on the crystal sires, the same, and I didn't get to say this because I blanked, magenta crystals, are spotted growing out of the edges of this door. Out of the 11? Out or of 12. 12A. 12. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's let's save that one for, for later. Because I don't know if they just infect and revive dead bodies, or if they make the bodies dead and then revive them. So, what's in 10? In 10. Sino staying back because he has all the stealth abilities as a Mack truck. Luna has decent stuff, but this... Oh, sorry. But she's... uh, While Badges is looking at 10, she's going to look over here at 11. Okay. So... In here, you realize this was a lab of some sort for book badges. Because you said you went into 10, right? Yep. Can you roll me Arcana, please? Uh, I mean, I can. (laughs) Yeah. Um, As you look, you see that there are machines in the room, but you have no clue 
of what they do. Uh, yeah, he's not touching anything. Uh, he'd be like, Luna, these look like they're magical machines. Do you want to give them a look-see? See if you can tell us what they do? So I've she's, got no clue. She's uh, looking at the door, and she does hear you. But she, she'll she turn to you and say that, uh, um, what, what about, uh, oh, okay. Um, so she'll come on over. Uh, after looking at the door a little bit more. Okay. I can tell you about that in a moment. Well, let's if do the want. Arcana first. Okay. Well, she does better. 16. Unfortunately, you don't get it either. Hmm. This I... is just a little... Is there any writing far. anywhere? No, not here. Okay. No. Encino is watching the uh, statue. The Triceratops bot. I, I don't know. I saw we. No, it's okay. It's all right. We'll uh, just not touch any of it for now, unless a boulder. Boulder. You want to take so. a peek at it? His attention is pulled from the ground. It's magical stuff underground. It might be. Oh, you that did it! 20. Wow. That Twenty with no bonus. Okay. Okay. He just looked up. Oh yeah, it's all uh, this. <laughs> you realize that these machines can be used to release trapped souls from inside soul gems. Oh dear. And you know how to do it now. Oh yeah, it's like when you burn coal, it's like a furnace. <laughs> We burn coal in these? I mean, not normal coal, no. But he... Would he know that, like... Well... You would know that it's souls. 12A is involved. Yeah. If there's coal, he points to 12A. Okay, so it burns those crystals? Or something? Oh, no, no, no. You do not believe that it is 12A. That is... This. It is souls itself. So, like, people dying. And their like souls being trapped in gems? Yep. So he could have shiny rocks with people in them? Yes. Screaming rocks. Yay. <laughs> oh, screaming coal. Gotcha. Yes, I know what that is. For 11 and Luna, huge claw marks and dents cover the walls and furniture. Desk and chairs appear to have been pushed around in a panic. Shattered crystals and torn paper are scattered across the floor. Oof. Big mess in here. I know make. I know want to clean. You don't have to clean up any of it. And we know you okay. didn't make it. This it looks like it happened quite some time ago. use that um as you come in boulder you realize that um a, there's a carving that depicts a four claimer lifting up a spark of light towards a large gem you realize that touching that opens another door <laughs> Oh, I know what you're getting at now. <laughs> um, so he just kind of looks around the room, and at some point, looking around, he just kind of leans against that like depiction, not really noticing it on the wall. Mm -hmm. Conveniently, at dwarf height. <laughs> oh no! I stumbled into the hidden room. <laughs> okay. Those are the vents. And Pebbles waiting out, or Rocky's waiting outside just in case anything happens while they're inside. Okay. So, you guys are now in the hallway, right? Is that what I'm understanding? This hallway? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
if there doesn't seem to be any way to get in here not from this way from the other way yes okay well um you find bones and dull powder crystal or in a dull power crystal oh of a foreclaimer and a deactivated charger that killed them. So the uh, raptor looking guys. Okay. You find one of those and bones in here. Well. You also find uh, two wall mounted levers next to a secret door. Here. I'm distracted by the shiny on the ground. Or did you say do one of the levers look more worn than the others? Is there any nope. differentiator between them? Nope, they're exactly the same. Encino looks to badges. Do we pull them at the same time? You know what? Let's bro it up. <laughs> Synchronized pulling. No, synchronized lever. Yeah. Throwing. yeah. Synchronized pulling. That's a <laughs> different kind of game. Yeah. Play right after dark. Okay. And this is the last thing. As you do, the door begins to open and the shine of magenta begins to come through as seven crystal sires are staring at you. Oh, quack. Oh, no. Look. And that's where... <laughs> that's a good place to drop it. And that is where we're dropping <laughs> the curtain for tonight. <laughs> oh, I was wondering where you guys were going to get in there. Well, we went pretty uh, quickly. I, I, I'll admit, Badges kind of wanted to check the other things, but he was like, screw it, we're here. Exploring will probably only lead to misery. It might lead to more puppies, but probably misery. One of the puppies is named Misery. Yeah. It's the one that pees all the time. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you to my players first off. I always love Thursdays. As cursed as it is, it is so much fun. I'm always in a better mood after session. Um uh thank you to our producer who yes i was reading chat because a certain other player who who who's really paying who really pays attention to it God, does normally catches me for much longer um i had it almost all up the entire time mm -hmm. so <laughs> sometimes i think he just says it because he knows there's a very good chance he's going to be right <laughs> He doesn't actually know if you have chat. He's just like, she probably does. <laughs> probably. Um, uh, again, let me... Uh, thank you, Bat Kyle. Thank you, Mudkip. Thank you, Bison. Thank you, Solar Dasher. Uh, <laughs> yes, the golden potato is going to end up becoming the party pet because they have <laughs> let me. Um, and yes... It is a uh, couple of different characters mixed together. Um, <laughs> if you can name them all from the two lines that I said from them. <laughs> uh, thank you to chat. You were insanely busy. Oh my, oh my God. Um, and thank you to... Uh, the people in the future who are watching from YouTube, if you watched up to here, you obviously liked it. So please hit the bell, subscribe so you know when um, you know when things are going up. Because uh, I don't, I can't tell you when things go up. I'm sorry. Um, what else am I forgetting? I think that's it. Um, but as always, as we always say at the end, please be nice to each other. Night, y'all. Night. Bye. <laughs>